Hey, it's Joseph here. I'm outside of my studio because I wanted to film this on sort of more open environment where the audio may not be the most optimal. Obviously, there's a lot of echo going on, so you're gonna have to bear with me, but I think we're gonna address that very soon with a different product. And the two products that I'm going to sort of unbox and do a first impression on are both from GVM, great video maker. They're just kind of known for their photography gear, video gear, lights, microphone, camera, tripod, that sort of thing. So I got two different products. One is a wireless microphone and the other one is tripod. And tripod is big and I wanna mount the camera on the tripod. So why don't we go ahead and try the tripod first. So it wasn't far away from me. I did unbox it off of the cardboard box, but I haven't unzipped it. So this is a first impression, if you may. Obviously, it is coming with a carrying case. It's nicely portable on your shoulder. It is not the lightest, but obviously you're carrying it on your shoulder. You can kind of walk around. It's not really a big deal. So let's go ahead and open it. Card note, thank you note, and then silica gel. There is a kind of zipped area inside and there's a hole. The Allen wrench, and I guess that is sort of the certificate and a little manual, and that is it as far as the back goes. And here is the big tripod, and this is a big tripod because it is meant for video cameras that are much heavier than regular DSLR, although I'm using DSLR, so it would be kind of small on this tripod. It's all metal construction, quite hefty. And there is a little thing that's holding the legs in place. So unsnap these plastic pieces. And then you'll be able to widen, I suppose. Let me have you lower it. I'm struggling because I don't have a tripod, but I have one here. So undo this. So push this all the way down so that it is on the ground sturdier and then undo these red levers as well as one on the bottom and then as well as you'll be able to pull it up and it is much taller than me now. I suppose you can go that high if you want. I'm about 5'6", so for your scale it is about maybe 5 feet with no lower section expanded. So I think that's the maximum height. It's going up to about six feet, I would say, since it is taller than me. Well, let's get it lower down. And just to be clear, the maximum height is this much and overall weight of this device is this much. And because I use a small DSLR camera, what I was really after was this video head. Video fluid head that is able to do a smooth pan shots and for the product photography, it is quite useful. So the video head is basically allowing you to smoothly pan around like that. And there's a bit of sort of resistance as you, as you do that. Therefore, basically you're able to do a smooth motion with your camera. So I am able to attach the pole that I pulled out from the bag. I suppose if you undo that, you can turn it. And when you turn it, there's a little spot here. This is all doing without manual, so forgive me if I do something wrong. And when it is sort of nice and tight, I'm able to undo the knob that's on the other side. So undo this knob, there you go. And then I can basically go up and down with a very smooth motion. It has a little bit of resistance and kind of spring-loaded. It's not really spring-loaded, it's sort of the pressure, the fluid pressure that's inside. So as you do that, it just does a little bit of motion. So as I'm able to just do a very smooth motion, either going from left to right, there's a bit of resistance on here, 
and then on this hinge here there's that resistance so I'm, I'm able to do a very smooth shot like that so for the product photography this will be really helpful since it is just grounded with the weight and the widespread of the legs and then I'm able to just basically focus on the area and let's get this plate out of its way oh okay you just press that on the side to release the plate it's a large plate that's meant for video cameras but i also see a little thread the golden thread here i'm assuming that's a quarter 20 where you can actually mount your microphone or light and such so you can have an arm that sticks out and shine the light onto your object so that's going to come in quite handy and there is a 3 8 screw that's mounted underneath so let me go ahead and get this camera off of the small tripod I have and then mount on here so I can do a smooth pan shot of this space. Okay, so the camera is now on top of the tripod. Obviously it's sort of much better level since I don't have to look down onto the camera. And I also found this small Allen wrench that was hidden underside of the plate. So it's really nice, it is magnetically held and I'm just gonna push this right back in. So since this space is very nice, I'm gonna do a smooth pan to show you the space. So hopefully I was able to demonstrate the benefits of the fluid head and for somebody who does video, this seems like a very useful kit to have. And this specific tripod's name is JJL-JY, a lot of J's. Anyways, the next one that I want to introduce is the wireless microphone and there's a lot of echo in the space, hopefully this would be able to address that problem. And the specific one is called GVM WM500X1. A lot of characters and code names, but it says professional wireless microphone. Stable and reliable operation, professional circuit structure for low cut function. Transmitter can adjust the volume of microphone, which can be used in a wider range. And it does have a real-time return monitoring interface for headphones to monitor the recording. And it says it has 30 meters of transmission. I'm not really planning to go far away from the scene. However, we can test as far as the scene allows. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Let me have a little table, shall we? Carrying case, very nice. And it feels very light as well. So this is what's inside. And then some cables. It actually includes a dongle for iPhones, for lightning cable. Although I don't really have an iOS device, so it's not gonna be much use for me. However, these cables are seemingly the four pole versus three pole. So if you're connecting to your phone, you're gonna have to use this. Camera like my camera over there, you're gonna have to use this. So I'm gonna keep this aside. And then here, these are actually quite small. So this is what it looks like. And this is the other one. So I suppose one of them is the transmitter. The other one is a receiver. Cold shoe mount, I suppose this is the receiver and this is the transmitter and it's got some indicator light and on the side there's a headphone jack as well as the power button and then pretty much the similar thing on the transmitter and there is a mic in lcf on and off the set button for i guess a different radio frequency and then power button as well as a charging port that's micro usb and i guess the same thing on the other side as well so that's pretty much it in terms of construction. It's got a little clip for your belt and such, and obviously the antennas. And then there are two more things here. One is containing one lav mic as well as the phone. 
I'll use that. And there are two USB cables for charging. And there's no other content here other than the foam work that allows you to have things a bit more safe. All right, let's see if this turns on. Okay, well, the transmitter turned on. However, the receiver doesn't have any charge, so I'm gonna have to charge this up. So seemingly like I'm gonna have to come back here to do a proper sound testing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so time passed by a little bit. I have charged up the devices and I came a bit more prepared. So this is the two devices that had to be charged up. And this is the transmitter and this is the receiver, which is gonna go on top of the camera. And I just need to turn on with holding the power button. And once they turn on, there's gonna be power indicator as well as the connection indicator. And this is gonna show up the frequency as well as the connection strength. They seem to be working right now. I just need to connect it up and test this. So microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, about three feet on Rode Video Micro that is on top of the camera. And this is much further distance, Rode Video Micro, microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. There is plenty of echo that is going around. This is about, I would say, 10 feet away from the camera. And then I can go much further. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Probably gonna hear all the echoes and not really my voice. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. I would say this is about 25 feet away. And this is probably the furthest I can go from the camera. So let me go ahead and connect these wireless kits. And when I said I came prepared, I even brought the headphones so I can monitor the sound. So first of all, I need to connect the lav mic onto the kit. So the lav mic goes into mic in port and I'm gonna clip that onto my pants here. Lead this up, probably up through my shirt. And then the lav mic goes and then clips onto my shirt like this. And then now it is transmitting the sound on here. I'm gonna try and monitor it. So I'm gonna connect to the headphone section of that and then try to see if I hear any sound. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, I am definitely hearing it. There's still a bit of echo that's going on, but the sound is a lot better because it's much closer to my mouth. Now I gotta connect to my camera, so I'm gonna stop it and then now connect to this specific transmitter. Okay, so it's seemingly coming in quite hot in terms of the volume as far as I can hear on my headset. So I'm gonna lower the volume. So I think that's slightly better. What do you think? Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm about three feet where this cable allows me to hear what's going on. So microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna walk further back. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is about, I would say 10 feet maybe. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna walk further back. This is about, I would say 15 feet. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. How's the echo sounding? And microphone is positioned right here. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Like I said, this is about 25 feet away from the camera. In terms of overall sound, it's not gonna change depending on the distance. I just wanted to show you how it can go pretty far from the camera. It's gonna still sound like as if I'm just talking right next to you, even though I'm very quite far away, but it's gonna pick up sound as if I'm right next to you. So that's what's nice about the wireless microphone. And when I'm doing shoots like this, where I'm talking from far back or just kind of walking around, where it may be, then I wanna utilize wireless microphone like this. So I can talk about VR stuff. And otherwise, I have to really focus on where I'm talking to. A nice setup, especially I can monitor my sound and then I can kind of stay away from the camera. So I think it works out. Thank you so much for sending these products, GVM. I really enjoy your products. And hopefully this kind of is beneficial for you guys as well. If you have liked this content, please like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time, bye.